Guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I had to pick this comment because it was just fantastic when I read it yesterday. It is from Cartoon Cat, who just left a fantastic comment about Snuggles. Go and check it out on my previous Disney video, guys. And he's going to go up on that wall. He's getting a lot of spaces recently because his comments is fantastic. So when I hit 10k, guys, I will be choosing a winner. So make sure you all stay tuned for that. Smash the like and subscribe button. Some will be winning soon. Guys, welcome back to a brand new Disney Heroes Battle Mode video. Now today's video, guys, this is quite a um, this, this is quite an exciting one, really, because what we're going to be able to do today is well take a huge look at a brand new character. Now, a few people pointed this out to me last week and said. I have to take a look at these characters because they're actually quite unique, quite different. So of course I was quite excited to jump in and basically see what these characters are going to be like. So it's Lock, Shock and Barrel. And for those of you who don't know who these characters are, because at first I didn't really have any idea who they were, they're these three like, how I'd explain the sort of demon things. Um, here we go, look. It's these three little chaps here from Nightmare Before Christmas. They look pretty terrifying. So I am quite intrigued to see what their art style is going to be like. <laughs> because they are very, very odd looking. So yeah, I am I am intrigued to see what they're going to be like. So, with that being said, we've got... Well, their basic attacks, Lock and Shock, shoot their slingshots, dealing fantastic damage, while Barrel licks his lollipop healing the ally with the lowest HP. So that's pretty cool because straight away you're having two different moves happening straight away because there's more than one character. So that's pretty cool. So we're having fantastic damage done and then healing an ally as well. Then active, the player chooses an enemy for lock, shock and barrel to kidnap. This is, this is getting weird now. The trio runs over to an enemy in their bathtub and puts the enemy in a sack. While the enemy is in their sack, they are dealt X amount of damage per second. The enemy is free from satisfaction. So, to be honest guys, their move sounds pretty creepy. Like, this entire character just sounds creepy. So I'm quite intrigued to see where we're gonna be able to get to with their moves. And we've got Scorpion Scare. Lock throws a box of scorpions at the nearest enemy, dealing 46,000 damage a second for 4 seconds and removing... Mm. That's pretty cool. All of, like, these moves are going to have some sick animation. Like guys, I, I want you to comment down and let me know what you think because these are going to be crazy animations. People being pulled up in a sack, bathtubs, free characters, scorpions being thrown at people. Unwanted present. Shock throws a jack-in-the-box onto the battlefield after five seconds. The jack-in-the-box triggers scaring. That is, that's awesome as well. And that means they're going to increase the level cap here to 200. Um, if every four times lock, shock and barrel crit, remove 200 and 200 invasion for, so uh, that's not, Hugely amazing, but that will um, allow them to, to get um, less armor, less everything. It's going to be quite cool. And their red skill. When Lock, Shock and Barrel deal crit damage to an enemy, they have a 0.8% chance of applying a random disable. That's pretty good. 0.8. If that's 0.8 out of 1, that's good. If that's 0.8%. Mm, it's pretty bad. If the last enemy in combat has lowered than 30% of their health remaining, when they are affected by all caught up, the enemy is instantly KO'd. Disables include Stun, Freeze, Blind, Charm and Silence. So these characters are going to be able to do everything. The chance to apply a random disable is further reduced for enemies above Level 200.
guys. I'm quite concerned with these characters. These guys look mad. Ah, uh, they've got a friendship mission with Ukubi. That's going to be like nightmare material. When a uh, DOT is applied to an enemy, to a scared enemy, the duration of the square... <laughs> the duration of the scare is extended. Enemies lose 450 invasion when they're scared, so that means uh, they're harder to dodge. I think that might be the first character who can ever apply anything like that. Then we've got uh, basic damage to yellow team enemies. Oh, that's a bit... That's interesting. That this skill applies only to yellow team. When an enemy is removed from the sack, they receive 13 stacks of fatigue. I don't know what that is. We haven't ever heard of that, guys. Damage roll, where enemies loses reality. There's a skill power. So his one's probably better with Cheshire Cat. I would definitely have to say that. So, I mean, all in all, that's pretty decent. That is pretty decent guys so i am quite intrigued to see where we're going to be able to get to with these characters because they are looking very very cool very very good so i'm quite excited to get a hold of these characters and see what they're going to be like guys as you can see as you can see look how creepy they are Oh god, they're like they are nightmare material. They really are. Now nah, this whole film is terrifying, I swear. Look at them. They're so weird looking. Oh my goodness, I'm not... That makes me feel really uncomfortable. So I'm, I really want to know what you guys think of these um, these characters here. Because I'm thinking these they look absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh. There we go. Let's have a look. Right. So I'm obviously I'm unsure when these characters are going to come out, guys. But um, I'm imagining it's going to be soon. Hey, see, I finished off the contest. Lovely. Um, and it's double gold, so let's do my big raid here. 4.13 million there. And then I'll do my medium one as well. Lovely. Got to make the most of that. Uh, oh, they're all awful. Money. <sighs> um, those are bad as well. Well, that was awful. Um, who am I trying to level up now? Uh, let's continue doing Mulan. I, I'm going to do it up. I would be doing an upgrading spree on Mulan. So we're on red. We're on red seven now. I haven't got any of our stuff for um, red eight though. 193 now though, which is lovely. I'm pretty sure that used all of that stamina I, best, I basically just claimed in one second. The amount of everything costs is crazy. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I will see you all in the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of the new characters, and I'll see you all soon.